Have you ever wondered how the components in SOLIDWORKS routing allow you to drag and drop in fittings and automatically create the beginnings of a pipe route with information like the pipe diameter and stub length? We'll do a quick overview of the structure of routing components and also talk about the routing library manager in today's two minute tech tip. To get started, we'll open up a routing component on its own like this flange to get an idea for how the routing intelligence is set up. The route components contain special features called C points and R points that define the connection location and where the route should begin. If we edit the C point, you'll see information about the type of route, pipe diameter, and stub length. These parts also contain mate references, which is what allow them to snap into place and automatically size when dragged into an assembly. Editing a mate reference reveals that it's as simple as defining the reference entities, mate type, and its alignment. Mate references can be inserted as a type of reference geometry and are useful for other applications besides just routing components. Finally, many of the route components feature a vast array of configurations driven by an Excel design table to accommodate the different sizes and pipe schedules you may encounter. Route components can be created by manually inserting connection points or route points, or using the automated wizard in the routing library manager, which guides you through component creation. This is also where you can set file locations, edit the database of components and their metadata, and adjust custom route properties. To learn more about routing techniques, including custom component creation and many more tips, check out the course titled SOLIDWORKS Routing, Piping, and Tubing on the Solid Professor Learning Platform. If you enjoyed this content, let us know in the comments section below, and also let us know what type of content you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.